The 80s were such a good time. I mean, certainly, I am so very proud of Golden Girls, and I'm so very proud of Dead Poets Society, and I am so very proud of Soap. But I'm proud of the other shows, too. But Soap was groundbreaking and, and our first big hit, and Golden Girls was a mega hit and groundbreaking. I'm, you know, and I, we always strive to push the envelope, and uh, I think we're kind of known for that, that we were doing stuff that, oh, they, and look what they get to do. Uh, or look what they're trying to do, uh, but um, those those I would I would if you had to pick three it would be Soap, Golden Girls, and and uh, Dead Poet Society. Certainly as 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 a material that I'm very proud of, and I'm proud of the acclaim and the audience reaction. As I told you from the beginning, I'm audience reaction driven. So uh, those those three shows are certainly. Uh, among them, but Beauty and the Beast, you know, I'm very proud of that show, what we did there. But the 80s, the 80s were a, uh, a terrific time, a terrific time. Any career regrets? Uh, that I'm responsible for? <laughs> I regret certain cancellations. Uh, any re career regrets? Um, well, probably we shouldn't have greenlighted certain shows and, and uh, and uh, like I said, I wish we'd have made uh, Secret Lives of Men more funny. Uh, but uh, uh, major career, no, God no. I, you know, uh, uh, it was a pretty blessed time. I'm very grateful for uh, the way this business treated us. Uh, we, uh, not everybody gets the ride we got. And there are talented people that don't get the ride, so have knocked their head against the wall their entire lives. And so I'm very, pleased that, uh, that our talent uh, broke through and that uh, we had got lucky enough at certain times to be the right place at the right time for the cast that was available and the network heads that were there at certain times that really helped us, you know. Uh, we, we got both edges of that sword. We got the network heads that didn't help us at all, too, that were really counterproductive to work, but, uh, but you know, there were Clearly, those that uh, truly helped us, and, you know, Warren Littlefield, Brandon Tartikoff, Fred Silverman among them. The last question that we ask all of our interviewees is, how would you like to be remembered? Oh, God, as a good father. That's, what, <laughs> that's how I'd like to be remembered. <laughs> By three young ladies, that's, what, that's how I'd like to be remembered. Um, how would I like to be remembered? I guess, it's, you know, as as part of a team of, of, uh, of people, the Paul, Tony, and Susan Act, that uh, really strived for excellence and uh, actually uh, got there on a few occasions and, and, uh, and did good work and, as I said before, was a, a, a good company. I mean, Whit Thomas Harris represented quality and it represented a good place to work and, and you know, uh, that's how I'd like to be remembered. And, and frankly, I feel very good about the fact that I think those that remember us, <laughs> that were in the business, uh, you know, and are in the business, were and are, uh, remember us that way. And so that makes me feel good.